Here's the beginning of the Haley family as it's on film. We're in our house on Magnolia Street. This was the 1960s. The children were all small. We didn't have Katie yet because she was born in 1970. But we really liked this house and eventually had to sell it for about 13000 And it was in 1965. Here's Colleen and Grandma Harwood with Susan and Maureen and David and Grandpa Harwood and Donna and Judy and me. And now we're in the backyard. No, we're up at a Is park. At park. Mm -hmm. We're up at a park in Chino where our brother Jim lived, and that's his son, Philip. <laughs> Do you reckon? There, there he is. And there the kids are playing. There's Donna pushing Colleen. Am I right? And there's Susan as a baby with her bottle. <laughs> and there it is again. <laughs> she was so cute. They all were. Judy with David and me and Mom and Dad Harwood. And, and there's Susan and Philip. Jim, our brother Jim Harwood, and there's Susan again, <laughs> Judy taking the kids on the swing, Judy going down, <laughs> and Dad, Ed Har Haley, and there's Donna Harwood, and there we are back at the house on Magnolia Street. This was all about the same time, Colleen, Maureen, and Susan. David posing <laughs> and we were all having a good time as you can see posing out in the back out in the front yard <laughs> going back in the house now we're in the backyard there's David Colleen and Maureen and our dog is that the collie Lassie. Sure. Yeah, it looks like. Yes, Lassie the Collie, who loved to run. <laughs> there is cousins up in Hawthorne, Nevada. They're cousins of Ed Haley's. And I can't even think of the name. <laughs> so we're... Their last name was Hylene, H-Y-L-I-N, and Hugh was dad's cousin, the dad, and that's the two boys. We were just up there for a weekend visit up in Hawthorne, Nevada, and that's Dell, his cousin's wife. Now we're back on Magnolia Street. Colleen and Maureen were in the Indian Maidens, part of the YMCA Indian Guides. There's Susan, who loved jewels. She was just a baby there, maybe about just walking, so probably about 11 months, 10 or 11 months. David with Susan on Magnolia Street. And there's a reason we moved. It was such a busy street. It wasn't when we first moved there, but it got real busy. There's Colleen and Maureen and Susan, David. <laughs> brushing the hair, <laughs> fixing up, <laughs> posing. I know. I think we were on our way to visit Aunt Tam who lived by the beach, which was pretty exciting. There I am. There we are at the beach at Aunt Tam's. And Wes is there, Joan, Joan Jensen's family, Wes. And there was Rhonda and 
Maureen, yeah. Rhonda's in the red, and Jill's the baby in the little pink suit, and Susan's in the red and white. David's got Susan, and Rhonda, and there's Wes. Look how tan he was. And there's Rhonda with Jill, and there's Colleen, and Roger. Look how young he looked. <laughs> and Joan was there somewhere. Joan. Nobody ever took I know you're there, but who knows where. She was probably lounging. <laughs> I was probably asleep. <laughs> Exhausted. Tanning. Then, of course, they're looking out at the ships. The Navy fleet was always there in Long Beach where we grew up. There's Roger with Jill. This is a really cute picture. Look at <laughs> So cute. So cute. Oh, and there's David's baseball team. The whole team. They were all practicing and having pictures. Playing ball. Pitching, playing. There they are again. There's David. <laughs> yes, there's David. Posing. Boys love to pose. You can always see David. Yeah, you can always see he David. Over to There's the Indian maidens with their outfits on. Colleen and Maureen. Perhaps politically incorrect now. <laughs> There's our house on Magnolia Street. I think we have the for sale sign up. Well, pretty soon it'll show. But we really like that house, but it wasn't safe after that street got busy. There it is, our for sale sign. Open house. <laughs> that was really hard keeping the house up with all the kids. You know, to where you could show it to people. Oh, yeah. There's Susan out in the backyard. There's Maureen. They all had tans in Colleen. There's Colleen again, and Susan, and Lassie. Lassie the dog. <laughs> Lassie the dog. And there's David, <laughs> posing, <laughs> hamming it up. Yeah. And Susan, trying to drink out of Lassie's dish. Everybody with the dog. So what year was this? This was think? probably about 1965. Yeah. I'm trying to remember with the ages, you know. Yeah. Some about maybe a little over a year old. Yeah. 64. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Here we are at San Juan Capistrano. My Aunt Nikki Belanger had two of her classmates out visiting. They were nuns. So we took them out to Capistrano to see the mission, and it's really very beautiful. The early monks established that probably in the 1600s. 
and we were there in the 60s. I was pregnant with Mark, I believe, so that would have been 65, because he was, no, 64. He was born in 65, unless I was pregnant. It would have been 65 months. If this was 65, I was pregnant with Mark. Yeah. And I think Susan was already a baby. I know. Aunt Florence took care of Susan that day. You were a baby. There we are at the mission. It's really very beautiful. Aunt Nikki and her two friends, the nuns, and Tam and and I'm in this one too and that's the beautiful flowers that they had there would have been in the spring I'm sure or summer would have been in the summer because you were born you were born in April mm -hmm. so this was after that the following year yeah was the following year. Now we're up in the gold country, up in Northern California, up in um, where where uh, Calabasas I think we're is. At Disneyland. Oh no, that was a quick shot of Disneyland. Oh, in the middle of it. <laughs> I think it got spliced. Oh, and now we're at the camp out for the guys. David was in the Indian guys. Now we're in our backyard <laughs> with Lassie. We're moving around a yeah, little bit. Running yeah. dog. I think so. Susan falling off the porch. <laughs> I'm sure Dad was out witnessing all this as he filmed. He was filming, I'm sure. Everyone's on the swing and Colleen's <laughs> up on top. Her hairdo was a gift of Aunt Tam and her two friends. The bouffant hairdo was quite elegant at the time. <laughs> <laughs> she always went across the top of the swing. Always. And there's Susan with the dog in the dog dish. Very important. <laughs> and there she is underneath on the swing. Colleen's going to lift her up and then fall on her. <laughs> and there they are. Everyone's swinging, having a good time. There's the dog. <laughs> this is 40 is years so ago. Is it 40 years ago? Oh, now that's our neighbor's dog. We had neighbors on Magnolia Street. They had a pincher dog. Isn't that a, a, pin, a Doberman? Is 
that girl? Because David and... Oh, no, it was a German short-haired. Well, anyway, there's the Indian maidens again. And they're showing off their dolls that Aunt Florence made. The little papoose dolls. Watch. Isn't that cute? <laughs> little blonde Indian dolls. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, there they are. Now, here's the men out camping. This is what we never knew about. <laughs> they took the boys out camping to teach them to be Indian guides. And they sure did teach them. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. There they are preparing for their day. Shooting. Just like the Indians did. Shooting cans with handguns. <laughs> Much, much to my dismay. <laughs> Drinking beer. <laughs> Drinking beer. I don't think Indians had beer in cans. I don't know. <laughs> now here they are with the spears. That might seem a little more normal. Depending on where they land. Now we're in front of our house on Magnolia. Tam is getting in the car with Susan. We never had a seat belt. You know, David on his skateboard. Grandpa Haley, we were going to church, I can tell. Yeah. Now we're on the farm in Illinois. This was still in the 60s. And this is the... Combine Uncle Pat driving it and all, everyone working on the farm. We were back there for a visit. It would have been in the summer. That's the cousins on the farm. That's Mike. Mike Haley. And there's Grandpa Haley with Mike. And they're working. They taught, he was the oldest boy. He learned to do everything on the farm. And the kids on the horses and Grandma and these aren't very clear. But they're all on the farm, all the cousins. That's Mike. Aunt Jetty, Grandma, Mike, Grandpa, and the kids are getting on the horse and falling off the horse. That's Anne Marie. Kind of hard to see them. Yeah, it's kind of dark. That's Grandma and Grandpa Haley's house they lived in. And the uh, Jetty's family, they lived in the bigger house. This is a smaller house where Grandma and Grandpa live. Now we're back on Magnolia Street and we're trying to go to church. Susan was <laughs> twirling backward, trying to get to the car. There's Maureen. <laughs> Posing. Posing. <laughs> With the beautiful haircut set, they're not oh, thrilled about. David, with this. With the Zen 16. <laughs> I don't. Know. Going to church. We're on our way to church on Christmas. There's Colleen with her doll. Innocent. There's Susan hanging up. 
Susan's hanging out the window of the front seat. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> ready to drive off. Dad was filming all this while I was in the house getting ready sure. with the baby. The poor baby. <laughs> There's Aunt Tam going to church. <laughs> she had quite the bouffant. The bouffant and there I am with the baby and, and the suitcase <laughs> <laughs> that marked the baby. <laughs> that was Mark. <laughs> and that was me <laughs> and Tam. Were we all going to get in that one car? Now we're back at the Indian guides at the park, and they were doing their Indian thing. And there they are in the tents. There they are, the Indian troop, Mescalero Apache. This I knew nothing about what took place. Oh, no, it's more the... Yeah. The children. The children. <laughs> With their dads. With their dads. And the beer. And the beer like the Indians had. <laughs> the parents. Correct. <laughs> Today they David rolling up the out. sleeping bag so they could move on out or set up. I don't know which. <laughs> Yes, it looks like it's toward evening, but they look like they're ready to go. I'm not sure. The women weren't allowed to know. No. <laughs> this was male bonding. This was male bonding. Here they come. <laughs> okay. The the insignia on their tent was really, that was really good. <laughs> Authentic. Did you know any of those guys? A couple of them. I can't think of their names. Now, there we are at a party at our house on Magnolia. John Burrell, Mildred Donovan, and that lady was some friend That's from Michigan. One, yeah. Uncle Harry Simmons, Dad Harwood, Mill Simmons, at the time Dingman, her daughter Pam, Carol and John Burrell, Judy, Aunt Nikki and the children. That's John and Carol's kids. Let's see, Tam and there's Aunt Leah. That was Aunt Leah. And Tam and Uncle Harry Simmons making a face. And David and Jackie, Cousin Jack. And little Jimmy Burrell and Johnny Burrell and there's Lisa Burrell. Aunt Florence's grandchildren. And there's Judy with Susan and David and Jackie being darling. And Carol. Carol Burrell, and I'm not sure who else in that. There's Jimmy mm -hmm. Burrell mm -hmm. with Susan. These kids are all grown up now. There we are going to church on Easter, and it's our house on Magnolia. 
There's Colleen and Susan and Maureen and David with Mark. <laughs> and I am elsewhere. <laughs> David's about ready to drop the baby. Colleen at one end. And there they are on the swings with the hat flying. There's Colleen in her usual spot. <laughs> Susan trying to do the same thing, I think. The poor baby. <laughs> Hanging out. There Swing. There's Susan uprooting Maureen. Just give her what she wants. There's Dad with Susan. And there's Colleen and David and the baby, Mark. <laughs> Let's see. There's David, Colleen, the group. With Dad. That is so cute. That's a cute picture. Mm -hmm. There's Susan squishing the Easter egg. We had an Easter egg hunt, but that was more fun. There's Colleen's first communion. We were still on Magnolia Street. Aunt Tess and Aunt Nikki in front of the church, St. Polycarp's Church. David, <laughs> Colleen, Maureen, me, Tam, Roxanne is behind David, Roxanne Burrell. Now that's Uncle John from Illinois, Dad Haley's brother. Ed and John, and there's Susan playing with Uncle John, <laughs> trying to give her a cigar. Why not, you know? <laughs> there's Dad with Susan. <laughs> she wanted to wave at the camera. <laughs> There's the two brothers. They sure look alike. They do. Susan. With Susan. And Dad Haley, Ed Haley there. Brandon looks just like him. Susan's son, Brandon. There's Susan and Maureen, and Susan's getting Maureen's pop. And it's a fight to the finish. Susan wins. Susan wins. <laughs> there we are at Mill's house, our cousin Mill Dingman. And she had this huge pool, and we used to go over there on the weekends in the summer. And the kids could all swim, and they loved it. And here they are coming out of the pool, and there they are going in. And there's Susan with her life vest on. And Colleen and Maureen. And there's the guys, the bigger ones. That was a lot of fun to have a swimming pool to go to. David is playing now, performing. Because the camera's on him. Now he's going to do his boat trick. There he goes. <laughs> he 
<laughs> oh, and there's Mel's little pug dog, whom was not our favorite person. <laughs> Ornery little thing. David in the water. It was just a lot of fun to go there. It really was. That's a good show. <laughs> now we're at, there's Mark. We're at a park. I'm not sure. I think it was Recreation Park. Are we at Recreation Park? Yeah. yeah. There's Mary Lou's husband, Ed, yeah. wasn't it? His okay. name. And there's their little boy, Steve, I think, right there. Danny was the blonde. And, and there's Tam and Roxanne. me and Roxanne, Mom, Harwood, and Rudy, Rudy yeah, Dingman, Uncle Al Burrell, and Mary Lou, I believe, is standing up in Jeannie. Jeannie, yeah. And that is, that looks like Tracy. Was he old enough? So. Tracy. Yeah, yeah. but that's the Andersons. Wow. Yeah, Rudy Sunny. again, and Sonny Anderson, and Aunt Jane. Yeah. And there's Mark and Danny. Danny was the Anders was the Mary Lou's little boy. And that's Tracy. Yeah, I think it's Tracy. And David's going to blow something up now. <laughs> Using gunpowder. Using gunpowder. Blow the caps off the <laughs> coffee cans. I'm sure Dad was out there with him. He was filming this. <laughs> I was somewhere in the house fixing dinner. <laughs> There's Mark, Susan, and one of the little girls across the street. And there's Mark with a baseball bat. There's Tam. With on the swing thing with with Mark. She's stuck. This is Catalina. We went to Catalina as a family. That's what that is. Um, nineteen sixty. Depends on nineteen. I'm not sure. I think depends on the kid. Is Mark a year old? 1964. Five. Five. Mark, if Mark is a year. 
Here we are back at the park, and that's Danny and Mark, and they both wanted the same hat. And that's Ed and Aunt Jane. And Mark just took Danny's hat, as you can see. Mark just took it again. Little kid wants his hat back. We're all trying to do something. Susan took took it over and gave it back. Mark looks around. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, Susan says so. <laughs> I can't have that hat. Isn't that funny how they love that hat? David and there he is again, Danny. That's Aunt Jane's little grandson. He's all grown up now. Was he at the reunion? Here we are over at John and Carol's house. It was Jimmy's birthday. So we were all out on the patio. There's Lisa, Rocky, Aunt Florence. We don't have very many of her. Lisa, Johnny, me, J Johnny again, Mark, Jimmy, Lisa, the whole group of cousins having a, a little birthday party. Look at Jimmy, how cute. Jimmy. I bet Aunt Florence made that cake. There we are, still over there playing, I'm sure. Johnny and Colleen and Susan <clears throat> back on their patio. It's amazing some of this is still preserved. I know. A long time ago. 40 years ago, didn't we say? Yeah. I think it was about 1967 if Jimmy's about yeah. three. Yeah, 1967. Yeah, there's three candles on that cake. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're about the same age. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Grandpa Haley in our backyard on Nestle Street. And the Colleen climbing. Colleen down on the ground with a croquet set. Grandpa Haley playing with Maureen. Grandma Haley walking around posing. Me posing. It's David's confirmation. And we were getting ready to go to church, or maybe we had come home. Yeah. Maybe we were back home. We were pretty relaxed. So. No, no, he's not dressed for church. That's just your daily clothes. It was so hard to pose for the movies. You didn't know what to do, you know. So the girls were posing and Susan was getting in the act. Maury was being swung by Grandpa Haley. He loved to do that. There we are again, flying off the swings. I guess your kids really had a lot of fun out of that swing set, you know? Yeah, we did. But did it go to three houses or something? Yeah, it did. It traveled <laughs> it with, with us. <laughs> it did. We moved from 
uh, Magnolia to Nestle Street to this yeah. house. So that's two houses. I don't know if it went to the house on Lenore or not. That was after this one. Down to San Diego for a while after this. Yeah, Dad was trying to get a yeah. job. We went to San Diego for a while, then we came back up to Lenore. He couldn't get a permanent job down there. David in his confirmation outfit. He does look like a Baptist. <laughs> He didn't mind. No, he didn't. He's a ham. That's a little girl across the street. We lived on Nestle Street. Julianne Sindeas played with Susan. Mark with his broken leg. David put him on the back of the bike and it twisted his ankle in the spoke. Awful. But he got used to the cast and cried when it was taken off. He called it his castle. So, you know, you can get used to anything as a kid, I guess. He was two years old. Whoops. <clears throat> Upside down. Here we are again. Now this is Tam's Mustang. So they were coming out of the, probably their apartment, but it looked like they were going somewhere because yeah. they had suitcases. Maybe they were going to San Diego. It says ice right there, so I think it's a hotel. I think it's a hotel. They did go on a little... Weekend jaunt, Tam, and, oh, I know who that is, like Pat. Pat. No, it's Tam's friend, Pat Miller. Mm -hmm. And, like yeah, but it was Pat. And they were up wherever that Who's was. That? What's the Regina? Who is she? Mary. We can't think of her last name, but it was yeah. Tam's friend, Mary. They taught school together. And she was really it's nice. Regina Wine Cellar. They must have been up at the wineries. Mm -hmm. Look at nothing around it. I know. This looks like some real old buildings mm -hmm. and really maybe a historic site. Where they were. They might have been up north. Yeah, but it looks like the wineries. Yeah. Look at wine country. Yeah, the wine country. They weren't there at the same time we were, but it looked like they took a trip up there. Yeah, that's what that is. These are the old wineries. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mary. It's got through the winery. Yeah. It must have been with us because we went up to the wineries up by Riverside, too. Yeah. And I think that we would have been Phillip there. Philip up by Chino and up around there. Mm -hmm. Philip yeah. and Rhonda. Rhonda. And is that Judy? Judy? Yeah, Jill. And Jill. That's our backyard. That's Easter. <laughs> our backyard at Easter. Yeah. You go ahead and say yeah. it. No, you have to know what to do. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't.
there to me and David. He wasn't in the mood. Tam, Joan, Mom, Harwood, and Marilyn. Marilyn, Jim's mm -hmm. wife, Marilyn Harwood, Dad and Jim. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mark. Jill. Jill. Was this at Jim's and Rhonda? Rhonda's in there. Oh, at your house. Okay. Nestle Street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there we are picking up Easter eggs and Mark's having a hard time getting enough of them. And there I am in my colorful dress and Mom Harwood and Judy and Donna, where are you? away at the time. Did you? Yes, I was in Idaho. Were you in Idaho yes, then? By then? Oh my that's goodness. <laughs> so that's what happened. You moved to so Idaho. Of, There's Maureen's first communion. There you are. Oh, cute. There's. Called my one of the nuns. Mm -hmm. Called me stupid. How charming. <laughs> that precious were they name. from Italy? That precious little sweet yeah, yeah, they, they were. They were from Italy and they never did mm -hmm. like the way we did things here. Mm -hmm. And there we are on a camping I trip. I just want to make sure still recorded. Mm -hmm. There we are on a camping trip up north. We were up by the Calabasas County up north where the gold country is. That was a lot of fun. We're all getting out of our van at the camp site. This is where Mark Twain lived and wrote about the jumping frog of Calabasas County. Mm -hmm. It was just a lot of fun to that take a fun. trip up there. Gosh, there were a lot of us getting out of the car. Mm -hmm. No, not them, but I think that. We had that big van. There we are panning for gold up there. And it was a lot of fun. Was it? Mm -hmm. Yep, there it's a nugget. That looks like up there too. Must be some historic site. I'm not sure. Yeah, because those are the old wagons they used up there in the gold country. It's just a lot of fun to go up there. They had the old fashioned saloons and everything was like it was years ago in the gold rush days.
there's the kids. There I am with David and Maureen and Colleen, the post office, Columbia. I had my gold. And you had your yeah. gold. Well, that's there's Mark. He had a short haircut, <laughs> Susan. And that's the church up there. It just was like it was in the old days. Uh, this is your father's trip through Maine. He went on a business trip, and he and a friend drove up through Maine. And I just think it looks so beautiful up there. So you'll see some of the scenery in Maine. Yeah, like I, I, I don't know where it was, but I know it was up in Maine. These beautiful old houses and wow. Look at that. Hotels and places to stay. Nothing like we have here. This is all Maine. Yeah. I know a lot. Yeah, my dad had some scenery shots that we did cut out, but we kept. Yeah, this I think Tom kept, kept this is there. the ocean along Maine Shore. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's one place I would like to go. That would be a really pretty place to have a have a summer home. Look at that. All those old homes. Honestly, they're mansions. Oh, there's houses up by me that look like that. Really? Oh, well, this is up in Queen Anne. Mm -hmm. That's pretty We're still going through New England. So beautiful. Donnie, you visited there and you love it. It's just like those covered bridges they have. Rockingham Meeting House. I can't read the rest. That must be the hotel they stayed in. Wow. Look at that. Or no, what building would that be? That might have be? been where he was working. That oh, might have been. Yeah. Because he had business there. Yeah. What company was Dad working for at that time, Mom? Uh, an okay. electronics company, and I think it was... I was trying to remember the name of it. Oh, um... I thought it was Data something? Datum. D A T U M. That's right. Datum Electronics. That's right. And they went back to Maine on a business trip, and then he took a tour through there, which I didn't blame him to do because you don't get that chance very often to drive through on the weekend, you know. Oh, here we are on the farm. Yeah. We're back on the farm. We're watching the crop dusters, mm -hmm. and they sprayed all of us. The pesticides. Yes. With the pesticides. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder, after watching this, 
how I got my disease, you know. Well, we were standing there with the children watching the crop duster. <laughs> if my doctor saw this, he would not question. <laughs> you nutty woman. <laughs> they were fascinating. <laughs> the spray <laughs> as we're looking up at it. God. <laughs> oh my God. Look at the spray coming out. Isn't that fascinating? It was then. Not now. Here's the kids on the farm. Mark and his cousins. That was John and Tim. Mark's Mark no, Tim was John's little boy. And John was Aunt Jitty and Uncle Pat's little boy. Do you remember these trips back there? Mm-hmm. I do. You need to talk about it. Yeah. These were trips to the farm, and it was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. These are a little bit too dark. You can't see what's going on. Oh, but there we are in the yard at Is Grandma's. Aunt Linda. Is that Aunt Linda and, and Uncle, Uncle Mark? Mark? I don't know who's in the polka dot, but... I'm not sure... Is that Helen, yeah. Uncle John's wife, Helen? Yeah. It is. Mm -hmm. And that's Uncle John. In the yellow. Yeah, in the yellow. And that's Pat with the red hat on. And is that, that's Jim, your cousin mm -hmm. Jim. He now lives in Colorado. There they are on the farm. Mm -hmm. There's Jim, Bill, Bill Haley, of course David, <laughs> Joe, Joe Haley, <laughs> Jerry Haley. Yeah, there were six boys and one girl, their dog. Grandpa Haley with Mark and the dog. <laughs> Doc didn't want to be there. <laughs> Look at. <laughs> There's Cousin Mike dragging some of the kids. I'm not sure which ones. The girls. Maureen and Susan, it looks like. And there's his sister, Anne Marie, Colleen, Susan, Susan and Mark. We had all of the kids Who's but Katie. Who's the little girl in the pink shorts? Oh, that's John and Helen's oh. little girl, Tammy. Okay. They had Laurie and Tammy, and Tim was their little boy. And there's Cousin Mike. He was the oldest of the group. Colleen, Maureen, and that's Cousin Tim, who was John's little boy. And there's, Su oh, where, is this dog? That looks like on the farm. They're still on the farm. Climbing trees. Oh, and there's Katie. We had, we were at Aunt Florence's in their backyard, and there she finally is. 1970.
We were at Aunt Florence in the Cloud's backyard. I know it took all this time. I know it took all this time. What? For Katie. Oh, I know. There's Danielle. And Katie. And our back. We were on Lenore. We were on Lenore. Garden Grove. Yes. Candy. There's Candy, our Chihuahua. This was like about 71, 72. There's Maureen and no, there's Colleen with our cat Pearl who was uh, deaf. No, Katie looks like she's about five there. I'm guessing this is about 1973. Yeah, there's Susan, Mark, and Danielle. There's Grandma and Grandpa Haley, Danielle and Katie. There's Grandpa Haley. There's Susan. Dad Haley. Mark. Dad. Grandma. Grandpa Haley. And hard to Mark Haley. He was about seven. Mm -hmm. Susan. <laughs> Waving <laughs> by. S Susan and Mark. Yep, about seven and nine. Or eight. You're just a year or so far. Everybody's getting in the act. Ed and me. Oh, he wanted to get romantic. Oh, obviously. That's it. Oh, the end. The end. The end. I thought it was good. I did. Well, I just had child number six, you know. <laughs> At least we got Katie in there. <laughs> Those or are cute. Kate.